Theater 5 presents A Little Game on Saturday Mornings. Jeff, that's a neat sign. Where'd you get it? I made it, stupid. Why do we need a sign that says Fort Williams? Well, Fort's got to have a name, doesn't it? Makes it official. Yeah. Why do we call it Fort Williams? Because he told us to. Who did? The general. Don't you remember anything? Oh, yeah, the general. Why didn't he call it Fort something else? Who ever heard of Fort Williams? Williams is our name, stupid. It's in mine and the general's. Williams is? You mean we're all a bunch of Williams? Dope. Don't you remember anything? You're Private Davy Williams. I'm Sergeant Jeff Williams, and we're stationed here in Fort Williams under the command of General Williams. General what, Williams? Huh? Well, if I'm Private Davy Williams, and you're Sergeant Jeff Williams, then what's the general's first name? Oh, uh, generals don't need first names. Nothing's fishy. Dad. I remember now. His name is Dad. Davy, you forget that. You forget that right away. Why, Jeff? Why should I forget he's our dad? Just take my advice and forget it. All right, Jeff. Boy. Boy, you know what you need? You need a good drill. Ah, oh, come on, Jeff. I don't want it. No back talk, dog face. Tension. Oh, good grief. The general said I got to make you a soldier. Right shoulder, arms. Hey, where are you going? I've got to get my stick. It's not a stick, it's a rifle. Oh, Jeff, it's a stupid old stick. Why do we always have to play war? Because it's Saturday morning, stupid. Because we always meet with the general for one hour on Saturday mornings. But why war all the time? Hey, there's the general. Davy, get up. Stand at attention. Okay, Jeff. How's this? Oh, your shirt's all unbuttoned and, and your hands are dirty and look... Attention. Well, isn't this a fine-looking army? Button that shirt, soldier. Yes, sir. Sorry, General. Sir. Sorry's no good. We've got to be at the top of our four men. The enemy's close at hand. Ready to meet them. Head on. Always alert. Always on our toes. Right? Yes, sir. Now... Let's all sing out loud and clear. Oh, boy, here comes the pitch pipe. Shh. All together, men, like you really mean it. For it's high, high, ye in the field artillery. Shout out your numbers loud and strong. One, two. And wherever we go, you will always know that those caissons go rolling along. Keep them rolling. That those caissons go rolling along. Very good, men. That is. Thank you. Men, I might as well be frank with you. Conditions are grim. Mighty grim. Reconnaissance reports that the enemy is snapping at our bootstraps, as the saying goes. Every Saturday, the same thing. Shh. They have superior forces. They have secret weapons. But we have something they haven't. We have courage. Because we know that we are in the right. Now... The enemy has no courage because they're in the wrong. We have courage because we're the good guys and they're the bad guys. Beautifully stated, Private. They're the bad guys and we're the good guys. Don't you ever forget that, men. They attack without warning. We liberate defenseless women and children. They plunder and loot and lay low the land. We institute economic and social reforms. Got it, sir. Now, best make ourselves ready. It's almost time for the attack. We're going to attack? Us attack. The good guys attack. Private get this and get it straight. They attack. We bravely repel. Y yes, sir. Shh, quiet. The planes. The enemy planes. Hear them? Yeah, the planes. Direct hit! We got one of them, though. Well done, men! Well done! 
Any casualties, Sergeant? You okay, Davy? I, I kind of scraped my knee when I fell down. Just minor, sir. Good. Now, here come their land forces. Over that ridge. Down, men, down. Blast it. Where did they get all those tanks? We're hopelessly outnumbered. We'll lick them, sir. Don't you worry. That's the kind of talk I like to hear. We probably haven't got much longer, men. But we'll die having tasted glory. Fire away! What do you call me, soldier? Dad. Dad? Oh, no, 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 no. What's the matter? You slipped and called him Dad. Private Williams, you... you... Oh, oh, darn it, Davy. Can't you get anything straight? Don't... don't be angry. It's only a game. Only a game? You disappoint me, son. Why can't you do as I ask you to? It should be easy for you to pretend you're a kid. Kids can imagine anything. It's much tougher for me. But, Dad, why is this game so important to you? To me? My son, it's for you I play this game. Oh, my son's... I want to help you embark on the one really great experience offered a man. And that is true glory. For there are men, sad and miserable creatures they are too, who never tasted the exhilarating glory of the battlefield. They're to be pitied. But that life's not for you, my sons. My beloved sons... My beloved army, with your general to guide you, you'll be able to find your true glory, to claim it, to hold it, to savor and to feel it deep within your bones, as I once did. When, when was that, sir? Years, years ago. We were at war. Goodbye, Mum. There's a job over there that has to be done, and I'm going to do it. Goodbye, Dad. Don't worry. We'll go fishing again when I return. Goodbye, Grace. I'll come back to you when the lights go up again all over the world. In apple blossom time. I, I love you, Grace. Love you. Who's Grace? Huh? What's that? Who's Grace, Dad? Is that our mother? Eh? No. Nothing like that. Dope, you're not supposed to ask that question. But who's Grace? It's not important. As things turned out, that wasn't very important. into space like that. Not Dad, jerk. The general. Okay, okay. But why is he... You never should have asked that question. But I was only... Look, just listen to his story. By the time he's finished, the game will be over. Uh, where was I? Where was I? You had just joined up, sir. What? Oh, yes. Joined up. Yes, that's right. <laughs> joined up to go to war. To fight for what was right. To taste my glory. And so it was off to boot camp. Yeah, they made of me, they did. And then, overseas, over there. I'll not soon forget that morning. That morning we hit the beach. The sky was dark. Little is gunfire. Oh, I was frightened, I'll admit it. 
The landing craft came crashing in over the breakers. But I also knew that this was the biggest moment of my life. My grandest and most glorious moment. Kid from the city got it first. He looked up and he saw that great subway express in the sky coming for him. Subway in the sky? What's he talking about? Shh. But that city boy died happily, my sons. He died knowing what he was fighting for. You can't ask for more than that. Where was I? Where was I? Oh, yes, yes. We we were huddled in those trenches. You were on the beach. Eh, what's that? You were taking a beach, Dad, not in the trenches. Uh, who's fighting this war, boy? You or me? I remember distinctly. We had to take this hill. Inch by bloody inch, we crawled up. And one by one, we knocked out the enemy gun emplacements. Oh, it was... it was grueling. Glorious operation. Our losses were heavy that day. But when we finally got to the top, the hill was ours. Ours. My sons, there are few joys more rewarding in this life than the ecstasy of knowing that the hill is really yours. I remember this tall, shy kid from the country. He just stood up and whooped for joy. And that's when he got it. Bullet tore right through the picture of his dog he carried in his chest pocket. But when that country boy died, he knew that he'd won what he fought for. He died a happy man on top of the hill. By nightfall, we'd captured the entire town. It was a hill, Dad. Shh. It was a town. It was a town called... Oh, one of those crazy foreign names. And how those characters cheered us. They knew we were the good guys. They recognized heroes when they saw them. Wow. Oh, yeah, wow. However, our job wasn't finished. Not by a long shot. So, we were in this foxhole. Now it's a foxhole. Shh. We were in this foxhole, just the three of us. The two of you and me. Oh, boy, here we go again. A quiet, private. The enemy's not 20 yards from us. They're in the bushes, in the trees. Can't see a bloody thing with all this undergrowth. Men, we've got to take that rice paddy. The fate of a whole division hangs on it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're not afraid to die? No, sir. No, no, sir. That's my brave soldiers. All right, now. Synchronize your watches. Okay. Now, quietly now. Let's slip out of here. On your bellies, men. Easy. how you dream of home at a time like this, eh? Yeah, funny. Well, you just keep that dream in your hearts, men. That's what this glory is all about. Home and hearth and mum's apple pie. The right to boo the umpire and... Blast them. They've started us. We've got to make a dash for it and take that landing strip. Landing strip? Jeff, I'm scared. He's all confused. Courage. Courage. I watch my hand when I lower it. Now. Ha! Give it hell. Ha! Fight! Bloody! Big! Good guy! Ha! Big three! General, get up, sir. I, I can't. 
I'm wounded mortally. Oh, sir. Did we take it? It, sir? The hill, the town, the paddy, landing strip, whatever it was. Oh, yes, sir. We took it. We took it good. We won. Ah, the day is ours. The good guys won. I die a happy man. Hey, hey, he isn't playing. He's really dying. Dad. No, 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 no. Shed no tears for me, my son. For I leave this hallowed ground with glory singing in my soul. And a hero's golden garland crowns my sacred wounds. See, in the heavens, Odin waits for me. And Mars and Caesar and a million, million marching men. My brave and bloody brothers all. Hey, hey, Jeff, is he playing? Is he really dead? Sure he's dead. He always dies. That means the game is over. Hey, hey, where are you going? Game's over till next Saturday morning. I know, but... We can't just leave him here lying on the ground like this. Don't worry. The guys always come to take him in. Which guys? You know. Look over there. Oh, I don't like him. Why do they always wear those white suits? Hey, I just noticed. This place has a fence around it. Maybe we shouldn't be here. Relax. They can't see us. Only the general can see us. Oh, brother, here he is again. This guy is one for the books. Shh. You may be able to hear us. Him? Nah, he don't know what we're saying. Hey, uh, here, help me put him back into his chair. Oh, oh. It's okay, fellow. Oh. Okay. Okay, we're friends. There. Easy now. That's it. Back in your chair. <laughs> Look at him grinning back at you like he knew what you were saying. How does he get out here anyway? He sure couldn't come by himself, the shape he's in. <laughs> I don't know. Some nurse must have brought him out here for the sun, and they got busy someplace else. This whole place here, you know, is understaffed. Come on, let's wheel him back. Yeah, time to feed him lunch. Man, how'd you like to end up like this? Buster, I just don't think about them things. You know, I hear this poor guy got it when he was no more than a kid. He's an old man now. Yeah. And all he's ever known is this veteran's home. He never had no jobs, he never built nothing, never had no wife, no kids, no caring. He never had nothing. Just one big blast, and that was it. Ah, oh, come on, we ain't got all day. Hey, go gentle with him, Harry. He's probably a hero. Well, that's all of that till next Saturday. Hey, Jeff, what did that guy mean? He never had no kids. We're his kids, aren't we? Us? We're nothing. Nothing but two old dreams in the back of his brain that weren't blown away with everything else. Huh? No. No, we're his kids. And he's our dad. And every Saturday, we meet to play war. And that... that's the way it is, isn't it? That's the way he wants it. No, no. That's the way it is. No. That's the way it might have been if it wasn't for all that glory. Presented a little game on Saturday mornings, written by Romeo Muller, produced and directed by Warren Somerville. In the cast, Court Benson, Danny Fortas, Peter Liz, David Kerman, and Jerry Zafer. Audio engineers, Marty Folia and Neil Pulse. Sound technician, Ed Blaney. Script editor, Jack C. Wilson. Original music by Alexander Ostatsenko. Orchestra under the direction of Glenn Osser.
Executive producer for Theater 5, Lee Bowman. We invite your comments. Write to Theater 5, New York 23, New York. That's Theater 5, New York 23, New York. This is Fred Foy speaking. This has been an ABC Radio Network production.